Hello guys, how are you? Today I will show you how to change the primary cylinder for the clutch pump. It has some, uh, some quick tips along the way, some things I want to have in mind. Uh, the best way to do this is really to take off, uh, in my view at least, to take off the, um, the subframe, but I don't have a lift at home, so let's do it from above. Take out the, the, the battery, the battery tray, and do some other stuff. I have here also a new tool, I will show you in a, in a minute, that will make this job a lot easier and cleaner. Also, inside here, of the car, we have to make sure to not to spill any brake fluid. Uh, if you, you do that, you'll, you will ruin your carpets and your paint, and uh, rust can, can appear. So, let's do it, and I give you some tips along the way. This job is almost equal on the Alpha 156 uh, from all models. Um, it's always a bit different, okay? Uh, on this car here, for example, we have the ABS unit and the AC and some other stuff. It depends on the engine that, that you have on both cars, uh, of course. But uh, most of the quick tips that I have for you, or the tips that I have for you, are somewhat equal from one to, no to an another. Uh, it's the same basic basic um, assembly, and when I have m the the need to to exchange or to replace those um, primary or secondary pumps for the clutch, uh, I'll do a video for that. For now, let's stick to it. Let's stick to the Alpha 156, uh, 155. I'm sorry, uh, and uh, let's go. First of all, why are, are you replacing your clutch pump? In my case, it is broken. Uh, it's a stupid thing. It works at the same, but uh, it, it does not lock on there, okay? If yours is leaking, the first thing you want to do is to wash you, everything that is uh, wet from the, the oil. That oil, like I said, is very corrosive. So, wash everything with water, just water, and then soak it with something. Then, what you want to do is to remove that elbow here, those two nuts, there, in up there okay in this hose but wait a minute first we have to take out the the fluid In order to replace your clutch fluid, you have this opening here on the battery tray. You only have to take out that, that uh, cap over there, unscrew the screw and uh, do the purge. This relay here is not original. I applied this relay uh, when, I, when I was chasing a problem with the starter. Uh, and um, I leave it here because it works. So what, what it does, the signal that should go to the starter Instead of that, goes to this relay and then the relay uh, directs it to the starter. So I actually do this properly at the time with a plug. And now I have the plug here for the this control unit. I think is for the AC. I don't really know for sure. I don't remember. So take it out, and this comes out like this. So this is a pump, this is not a pump of this car, but it is a clutch pump that I removed a few years ago. By the way, this is what happens if you don't, re don't replace the, the fluid. That fluid there is the same for the clutch pump, the pumps. Uh, that oil is uh, hygroscopic, it absorbs the humidity of the air. If in the, This is metal, okay? Humidity, metal, what do you get? Corrosion. So corrosion on the inside of the pump. On my case, uh, like I told you, this shaft here 
uh, broke loose. And uh, what do you have to remove to take out take this out? Obviously, take out on this at this end. Take out those two nuts that I told you. Take out that hose. And on this side of the car, of this side of the engine, you have here a, a pipe, a tube, a metallic tube that you have to remove as well. So let's do this part here. Primary clutch pump that I have in my hand is fed by a pipe, by a tube, to this end here from the reservoir. You only have to take out the, 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 the hose in order to remove this um, clutch pump. Uh, but before that, we have to take out the fluid. Let's take it. Take out the cap. Like so. Be careful with the oil, the fluid. If it drips like it does with water, you can solve that. I have here this, uh, this cap. Now I will create some pressure with this new tool that I have. You just want to create about one bar of pressure. Notice I am not using any fluid for now. What I, what I want to do is to push out the old fluid just with air, normal air. So let's see here a, little, a bit more. It's dropping it. Maybe something is not right, but I think we can deal with this. Maybe some fitting, I don't know. So, but I, I think we can deal with this, okay? Change of plans. I'm not e being able to unscrew the, that uh, that pipe uh, over there. Uh, not even I can capture it on film, on camera. So I uh, will try to do something different. I will remove these fittings here and the pipe will be attached to the primary pump. And let's see if I can uh, take it out like this. This was a little bit tougher to take out because the hose that I put on, on this is not the, the same, it's reinforced. Um, no particular reason, but it was uh, the only thing av available at the time. Uh, I'm doing this on the, on the ground, it does not matter, this is garbage. Don't, don't forget you have an O-ring over here for uh, isolating the outside of the car from the inside. So I don't have a vise yet. I will grab it with the pliers, 13 millimeter. 
not easy. <laughs> not easy at all. I will try with something bigger, like a wrench, a big wrench, I think it will work. What did happen on this primary pump? Uh, it, it is re very strange. On the center here, we have the cylinder that works to push the fluid, okay? And inside here, you have the shaft. This shaft, as it seems, it's hold, hold uh, on the inside by a, a clip or something or something that broke. It's very strange. It is very strange because the forces that are, that are exerted here are only on the downwards position, like this. The thing that broke inside there only prevents the shaft from coming out, so no forces are applied there. I can assume it may be a problem with manufacturing because this is not this as one year old only. Um, it is a quality item, so I really don't understand why this this happened. But I already contacted my my supplier and he is uh, considering all options. By the way, the clutch is not hard. The pedal is not hard in, uh, at all at all. The clutch kit, the, the plate, the the disc is new, new like uh, two two years, two, three years. It's very soft, very very uh, easy to press the pedal. But even if it was hard, I don't really think it would matter matter because, like I told you, the forces are only on the downwards position or inwards, uh, and, and this came loose the other way around. Here I have the new clutch pump. I will attach now my hard pipe. Uh, don't uh, tighten just yet, just to be... You just want it to be close to tighten because it has a, a specific uh, position and you have to manage that, okay? To assemble everything, just reverse the steps, kind of, okay? I will accompany you on this process as well. And at the end, we'll use this machine here to do the purge. I will do a video about purging, uh, a complete video with purging brakes with this machine here and I will explain in detail how it works and why I love this kind of machine. Just a quick tip here, um, the devil is always on the details, right? So you have to make sure everything is the same, not just look at it and say it's close. Uh, for example, many cars, not, uh, the, not much the European cars, more like the Asian cars do that. This uh, fitting here, the sealing between these two parts is done by this concave part here. And you can do the, see that it is uh, pushing outwards on the middle. You can see here that it, is, it has a round, sh rounded shape. Sometimes, sometimes it is concave, not on this case. Okay. And you have to m see if the inside of the, the clutch pump matches. And in fact, it matches exactly the same shape. Okay, make sure of that. Sometimes that it is the little things.
That is it, guys. So as you saw, I have to uh, wash a, a little bit uh, that part of the engine with water. I forgot to tighten that uh, metallic hose. <laughs> Sometimes with this uh, recording thing and uh, so much happening, uh, um, okay, I'm the only human, okay? Uh, I forgot to do some, some stuff. So yes, it was uh, me that uh, when pumping the pedal, oil was squirting to the ground and then I have to wash that, that, uh, that oil. Don't forget that fluid, that oil is very corrosive and it will eat up your paint and uh, a lot of stuff. Um, so I, have you, I hope you liked this video. I hope you can share with your friends. Please consider subscribe, hit the like button. On the description below, there is a lot of information, playlists, uh, videos related to this one, help for the channel, for example, uh, really a lot of stuff that you can check, out, check it out. Um, no obligation required. Um, another thing, is just let me finish here this thing. So you want to check uh, how this is working, how you do that, you firstly see if your clutch pedal feels good, this one feels very good, then you push all the way down, the brake as well, see if the first gear enters, it enter enters well, and now without taking out the foot on your brake pedal, see if the clutch, how much uh, does it have to come up before the car wants to start to move. So I have here about an inch, two centimeters, about that. So it's perfect. My brakes work as well. It's good to know that. And then you can experiment a little bit more. Okay, it works, it brakes. On the reverse, for example, it works very well. So it's done. If your um, clutch pedal is all the way down there, and as soon as you start to take out your foot, the car really wants to get going, it's because you still have air on your uh, circuit. Uh, because the full travel of the, the pedal is not reflected on the travel of your uh, clutch um, press. Okay. Just one, one more thing, guys. Uh, as usual, at, at Sunday you have my new videos every week. It's always on Sunday. And that will continue. But this year, this year I will do something extra. On Tuesday, uh, yes, Tuesday, I will release uh, another more video. Every Tuesday, I will release the quick tips. One small video every Tuesday, and one normal video at your Sunday, okay? Uh, why I am doing this? I have a lot, a lot, a lot of videos to release, a lot of videos to, to record. Um, I have a list of about uh, three years. In this way, I think at uh, Tuesday is not a, Okay, if, if it is a, a very short video, about five minutes, no more than that, I think you will appreciate it. Um, my list will come down a little bit more and uh, you'll be good for everyone. So, see you next week. Bye.